You hate us, don't you? What? Nuns. You hate nuns. I I don't understand what you're talking Catholicism, about. Catholicism, then. I hate ignorance and stupidity. This is a human being you're dealing with, not an institution. But the institution has a hell of a lot to do with that human being. Catholicism is not on trial here. And if you can't treat Agnes without any religious how prejudice, you, you need to give this March to into my office and tell me how to run my affairs. It's my affairs, too. How dare you think that I'm in a position to be bad I'm only suggesting that. Bullied or whatever you're trying to do. Who the hell do you think you are? You walk in here expecting applause for the way you've treated this child? She's not a child. And she's got the right to know that there's a world out there filled with people who don't believe in God and who are not any worse off than you. People who spend their entire lives without bending their knees once to anybody. And people who still fall in love and make babies and occasionally are very happy. She's got the right to know that. But you and your order and your church have kept her ignorant because- We could hardly do that. Because ignorance is next to virginity, right? Poverty, chastity, and ignorance, that's what you live by. I'm not a virgin doctor. I was married for 23 years. I have two children and grandchildren, surprised. It may please you to know that I was a failure as a mother and a wife. I protected my children from nothing. Out of the womb into that big bad world. They won't speak to me anymore. They don't want to even see me. That's their revenge. They're devout atheists. They tell their friends I've passed away. Oh, don't tell me, doctor, that I'm making up for past mistakes. This is a beautiful simple young woman that you're dealing with. An unhappy woman. But she could be happy. She was happy before and if she was left alone. Then why did you call the police in the first place? Why didn't you throw the baby in the incinerator and be done with it? Because I'm a moral person, that's why. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Bullshit yourself. You just say that you're a moral person. What the hell does the Catholic Church have to do with this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What did we do to you? Don't deny it. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. I can smell an ex-Catholic a mile away. What did we do? Burn a few heretics? Sell some indulgences? Oh, that's when the Catholic Church was a ruling body. We let the government do that nowadays. Just because you don't have the power you want to Oh, I'm not it. interested in the church as a power system. <laughs> oh, I see it. You were 15 and you wanted to neck in the back of the car and you oh. couldn't because you realized it was a sin. Oh, so in course the thing, sex. Just... It was a lot of other things, but it wasn't sex. It started in the first grade when my best friend was run over by a cement truck on her way to school. The nun said she died because she hadn't said her morning prayers. Stupid woman. Yeah. That's it? That's it. That's enough. She was a beautiful little girl. What has that got to do with it? I wasn't! She was the pretty one and she died. Why not me? I hadn't said my morning prayers either and I was ugly. I'm not just plain. I was ugly, I was fat, I had big buck teeth, ears out to here, freckles all over my face. Sister Mary Cletus used to call me polka at Lemon You left the Catholic Church because you had freckles? No, because... <sighs> yes. I left the church because I had freckles. What? That's also why I hate nuns. <laughs>